Hello, and welcome to this video. So, recently, some people told me that they had problem with transferring their I uh, ringtones using iTunes 12.1, I believe, but um, today I have 12.1.2, and make sure you update your iTunes to have this iTunes, okay? Um, so what we are going to do is the first thing is we are going to open the computer and go and click on open control panel find uh, folder options and then click on view then uncheck the hide extensions for known file types Make sure you uncheck that, click on apply, and OK. And then, of course, close this window. OK, once we do that, just open up the iTunes. Once you open the iTunes, make sure you click on your iPhone over here and scroll down. Make sure you put a check mark by the sync only check songs and videos but before you put check marks on here I recommend you guys to synchronize your iPhone with your computer by, by clicking on this sync over here once you do that um, put check mark put a check mark here by the sync only check songs and videos and another check mark by the manually manage videos okay so what we are going to do now is click on this plus actually I, I don't wanna you know be confused so I'm going to click on music over here okay then I'm going to click on this plus and then I'm going to click on new playlist I'm going to uh, name it rain tones and after I name it ringtones, it's ready to be used. I'm just going to move it to the right a little bit. Okay. Now what we are going to do is we are going to drop the mp3 file that we want to make it a ringtone inside here. So just drag and drop the uh, mp3 file and drop it here. Once we do that, we are going to right to click on the song and go to the fourth option which is get info once I click on get info I'm going to click on options and now I'm going to uh, put a check mark here if it's not and make sure it's 18 and make sure you have a starting point so I want the ringtone to start at the beginning of the song and end at the 18 seconds. So, okay. I'm going to click on OK. Once I do that, I'm going to right click here. Let me just do something quickly. Yeah, okay. Let me just close this. Yeah. So right and click on the music file and click on create AAC version and you might you might hear that sound also and hey, why not okay so after we do that nothing happens but we have to go to my documents and then go to music iTunes iTunes media I believe then uh, name of the, uh, the performer or you know or the singer should appear here so just double click on it and open all these files until you see the M4A actually there is a very important thing I want to tell you if you don't see the uh, name of the song then a period and then the type of the file that means you haven't done the control panel thing so I recommend you to go 
and do what we did in the beginning, you know, with the, um, you know, folder option, uncheck that, um, hidden, hide that thing, you know, <laughs> okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this, and I'm going to rename it. I'm just going to rename the last letter, which is R, I mean, which is A, I'm sorry, and then I'm going to replace it with R. So, it was M4A, but now it's M4, make sure it's R, and then click somewhere. Once you click somewhere, it will give you this uh, caution. It will tell you if you change the file name extension, the file might become unusable, but it's really usable. Just click on yes. Don't worry about it. Okay, once we're gonna do that, once we do that, I mean, um, what we did already. Once we do that, we are going to click on, um, if you don't see tones over here, just click on this three dots and click on tones. Okay, as we see, I already made one, but what we, are, what we have to do is uh, just drag and drop the M4R inside this. So I'm just going to drag and drop it. Nothing hard, okay? Nothing challenging, I just drag and drop it. Okay, and then I'm going to click on somewhere here. Okay, and now I'm going to uh, drag and drop it again, but this time where I'm going to drag it. I'm just going to drag this ringtone and move it toward the left side, okay? Once I move it toward the left side, I see I have my devices, so my iPhone is named Superman. I'm just going to drop it on my iPhone now. Once you drop it there, it will tell you updating files on your iPhone over here. And now, if you just open, if you just go and see your iPhone, go to settings on your iPhone, then I believe general, no, it's uh, ringtones actually. Yeah, go to sounds and then ringtones. And then it should be the first one. So I'm just gonna let you hear it. Yeah, yeah so, anyways, that's the ringtone now. And uh, if you wanna remove it, or you, if you wanna make sure that it's on your iPhone. Just click on this iPhone, this is yours, and then um, you'll see the summary of your iPhone and click on Tones. I don't see it this time. Pr probably I didn't synchronize it. Yeah, anyways, just, yeah, if you don't see it on your iPhone, just click on Tones and click on Sync Tones. It will tell you um, removing sync, but I don't want to because it's on my iPhone. Anyway, just keep it like that. Um, if you have the same problem, let me know. I'll try to help you. And hopefully by now, you'll have your own ringtone. So thank you very much and have a good one. Please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at... Move a